Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 19 of my Arsenal Football Manager 2016 Let's Play. And today we're into January now in this series. Uh, I did play that West Ham game off camera after Man City uh, was going to win that. Very, very good performance. 2-0 uh, at home. Obviously at home were very dangerous. West Ham got a lot of yellow cards and uh, yeah, they weren't really up for the game, I don't think. Whatever, I don't know what their style was. They were just giving away a lot of fouls and picked up a lot of yellow cards. So yeah, weren't they didn't really test us, uh, to be honest. So today we're only going to have one game in the episode. I'm going to kind of change up my content a little bit and see yeah, how you guys respond to it uh, because I feel I need to maybe change things up a little bit because my football manager videos aren't really progressing on YouTube. Uh, if you look at the likes and views, they're really just similar to everything I did in FM15. Like, And I thought, yeah, I'm starting to grow my channel now, but obviously that's not affecting my football manager videos only with FIFA. So yeah, I just really, uh, I'm going to try and change things up a little bit, maybe make the video shorter. And yeah, see how we go and pl just play one game yeah, per episode sometimes. Sometimes I'll do more. It just really depends yeah, what we have in store. So uh, we are going to go into the game, but also Francis Coquelin. He uh, got an offer from Bayern Munich. We did actually spend some time negotiating. And that's what I like doing. I actually really enjoy doing that in this save and when I've signed players like, say, in my FC United career. When I've done it, just sitting back myself... Uh, in the off-camera style when I'm not recording specifically. And yeah, I just have fun playing the games and I could probably make the best moves possible. I got decent money for that. Obviously, if it does go through, yeah, 28 million, I think uh, that was the most we were going to get. I was trying to offer a bit more and they, we kept negotiating and I'm pretty happy to hopefully, yeah, land the 28 million deal and we'll get that money for him. He's a decent player. I'm not hiding away from that, uh, but obviously, if we didn't accept it, it might have been the case where he would complain, so that's good money nonetheless, and of course, we've almost made the replacement signing before it happened, like Sven Bender, so he'll be ideal, and we can bring someone else in, and if we don't, I, I want to though, I probably will, but I'm just saying, you've got Matthew Firmini, uh, who'll be there anyway, but yes, yeah, Sven Bender is a guy you'd probably look to, I mean, he was transfer listed, he's arguably better. Uh, but hasn't been better this season because he's adjusting to life in England. But yeah, he's only going to be getting better in that way, I suppose. But yeah, pretty strong team today anyway. Sadly, Kazola is back. Unfortunately, yeah, uh, Mesut Ozil is injured, but also Jack Wilshere and Welbeck are not too far away. So yeah, things are looking all right, apart from the injury, I guess, to Ozil. Uh, how long is it? It's only two or three weeks, so it's not absolutely major. He'll be back in time for Champions League when that comes around. Don't forget, we also have PSG in the first knockout rounds. But we'll worry about that when it comes, and I will play the rest of the Premier League games off camera, and we'll get into that in the next episode. So we'll see, like I mentioned, if that affects my videos or not. Uh, we'll have to see in terms of the interest. But we'll just head straight into the game, really. Uh, so also, with my skin, um, I still use the Wanna Chup Brew skin, um, not skin, sorry, the view. So you can see the view of the tactics and everything like that. But I still have this skin, Andromeda, I believe it's called. And I have the link in the description. But some people are actually saying you don't like it. But it's similar to other skins I've used in previous years. So I'm not sure if I just have a lot of new subscribers uh, coming in and not used to skins I use. Which are generally darker skins. And no one's really complained about it this much in the past. So I don't really know because it's similar to other skins. And other skins this year that may be lighter skins or whatever um, have bugs in them that really annoy me uh, for different reasons. So I like this one the most. So I won't change it. <laughs> Simple as that. So we'll go assertively. I want you to pick up where you left off last time out. Uh, motivating. Motivating reactions. I'll just go assertively and mix that with I have in faith in you. I have faith in you. And it just it mixes well together perfectly. Look at those reactions. And then I have faith in you for basically Giroud there. And look. Look at those amazing reactions. Uh, we should dominate today against Watford. It is away from home. But as I said, Watford, we've got the better team. We're on the best form, really. Best English team at the minute, I would have to say, the way we're playing our football. But they do have an early chance. Usually nothing comes of this. And Murtasaka dealt with that. You see his experience there, and it showed it well. So I hope here we could score a goal in the first half or get the lead as early as possible because, yeah, Gabbiadini, I'd want to take him off. But look at that, Ababo getting injured. We have to be mindful. That could happen to Gabbiadini. But we'll go with a bit of a team talk as we're not really pressing on. I'll just encourage the team 
give them some confidence and see if we can score like 10 minutes left in the half. And not much seems to be happening right now, so we're probably going to go in, or maybe not. Maybe not. There's going to be one more chance. Monreal, what can he do? Alexis. Alexis. Was that it? Is that <laughs> worthy of a highlight? I'm not really sure. We've been dominating possession, but we haven't had too many clear chances. Uh, that's been a problem. So I'm going to go aggressively. You might think that's major, but <laughs> yeah, we need to fire them up. Maybe they're being a tad complacent in this game. So because he has taken a knock and also he's not playing the best uh, today, Manolo Gabbiadini will sub him off and it's a good opportunity just to bring on Theo Walcott. Uh, but we'll move on to attacking uh, with the inside forwards, uh, push forward a bit more. The problem is, is Santi Cazorla is not creating too much. We don't have another amazing option. We may have to bring Ramsey, uh, put him attacking midfield from center mid. We'll have to see. But for now, uh, the Walcott change, he'll inject some pace into the team and hopefully, yeah, can create a goal for us. I want to be winning this game. Let's see something. And Giroud, need him to step up. I don't feel he's been as dominant in recent games as he was, like, I wouldn't say in the last few months, for the whole season. That's how good he's been. Come on, no, it's Anya. I wouldn't want to get knocked out this early. And it could have been, yeah, well, like with a countering chance, like a smash and grab. But luckily, it was straight at Petr Cech. But that was, yeah, very fortunate. So maybe we're going to have to change up the style a little bit. Sometimes the shorter passing works, but maybe now it's time to be a bit more direct and be a bit more expressive. And yeah, we'll see. And we'll take yeah off play out of defense and work ball into the box. We're trying to be a bit more direct now and hopefully, and either oh, we'll leave yeah slightly higher defensive line for now <laughs> because we have to be careful away from home still. We've got to be mindful. That is still the occasion. Uh, we are not playing at home. Watford are still going to be uh, dangerous. Uh, Ramsey's had a solid game, so maybe, or oh, definitely we'll have to just, we could just wait and see. Koscielny, he's been consistent, but Charlie Austin is on now. He could take the opportunity. Oh my God. See, that could have easily been a goal. We could have easily been behind there. Most definitely. So we are on control now. Um, we'll push it up to attacking. Oh, we have to... We have to do it. Sadly, because all not really getting the job done. We'll put Ramsey there, and then also Mikel Arteta will come on. A bit more experience, and we'll see. And with going attacking now, you know the fullbacks are on automatic, so they're going to really press forward now to look for uh, more creative opportunities, uh, to look for the goal. As we have dominated the game here, we just have to see Giroud. Oh, my God. Come on. Icarlo. Anya. Oh, no, Austin. Ooh, I felt that was coming. I felt that a goal was coming. It's an interesting one because uh, we've been dominating the game in terms of possession. I guess you can say shots on target were pretty even. But I could... Yeah, I saw that goal coming. And it's... Maybe I should have went attacking. But still, that was a ripper ball. That was really good. And we couldn't defend it. That was... In a nutshell, that's what it was. But come on, really? We're going to lose against Watford here. Demand more. In the FA Cup? FA Cup's important competition. But I guess if we're going to win the league, it's not really it's not really a huge thing. It will only get in the way of winning the league. Because you got to think, yeah, we're doing so well. And you got to think where we're going to drop points. If we're in more competitions, that could happen. But it's not over yet. Come on, you got to... You gotta take that chance. That's what I mean. Sometimes you can create so many chances like we are today, and it just it doesn't it doesn't happen when it should. When we should have scored already. We should be in the lead. That's a fact. And who do we take off? Ramsey's had a good game. Sanchez ugh, he hasn't done that well. But come on. Arteta, what's his best role is deep line playmaker as well, so we're doing what we what we have to here. We'll go high defensive line then. Maybe uh, shoot on sight. Oh, uh, come on. Maybe we can hit some early crosses. But no, we've got to look at over, for the overlap. Ballerin's done it so many times where he scored that goal. Uh, roam from positions. Roam from positions. And we just got to hope. 
We've got to put the hope in there. We can get one of those late chances. We've done it this season. We've got a late goal. But for whatever reason, I can't just I can't see it happening in this game. I don't know what it is. It's it's a weird feeling. I know you just have those games in Football Manager. You know, it's very it's very early uh, to get knocked out in the FA Cup. Uh, it's not it's not going to come. And with the style of Arsenal, and we play with Arsenal, I'll go push forward. But we don't really go overload and yeah, just bump uh, pump the ball forward. It's just not our style. But we are going to lose. We're going to lose this game, and it's a bit of a weird feeling. But it's only FA Cup at the end of the day. Um, we are in pole position to win the league, and I don't mind yeah getting knocked out. Uh, but how we've dominated in the league this season, we've still had poor performances, and they're going to have another chance here. It's probably not going to come of anything, I guess, because it's the plus two minutes already. So we lose against Watford. Okay. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a weird feeling because we've dominated the league this season. Uh, so maybe we need this result. Um, so, yeah, they don't act like that in the league. I'm just, yeah, trying to find reasons. They they had a good game. Uh, not lying. Not lying. Watford played well. Also, Gabbiadini's injury, four to five days, so nothing major. Uh, yeah, that's that's about it. That's about it. I just want to play through. I want to see what happens with Coquelin, and then we'll see Yeah, if we're going to move on to make a make a deal for another player. I will do that. I just got to decide, yeah, when it goes through. Jack Wilshire is back. I think that's all we need. We need another option in center mid. So we are knocked out uh, very early in the FA Cup, earlier than I thought. Uh, but, yeah, that's the way it goes. So it looks like that deal is going to go through, and we're going to accept that now. Coquelin, so... Yeah, he. You just look at his attributes. He does look like a good defensive midfielder, doesn't he? Uh, or that role we do use him in, ball winning midfielder. He hasn't got over a seven rating, so that's something on my mind. Obviously, it's hard because he's going to have to make a lot of challenges to make up for it. Because usually those yeah deeper players, because they don't score or get assists, so they don't get high ratings. That's where you get a lot of high ratings. But also for defensive players, a lot of tackles help you get that. But he just he didn't do that, and I guess the profit is eventually made, and I kind of want to show that. I kind of wanted, that's another reason we could, it could look really, really good. Arsenal signed him uh, back in the day for 800k, and now, to make that kind of profit, like, <laughs> we sell him for 28 million, signed under a million, so you can see that's a major profit made. So I think I shall in the episode now, after selling Coughlin, 28 million, that makes our transfer budget 58 million. We could go for a huge signing, but don't forget Rugani. Uh, we've got was 28 million, the future fee for him, uh, wasn't it? Rugani. Uh, Daniele Rugani, the Italian young center back. Yeah, 28 million future fee. So keep that in mind as well. But um, I don't think. No, nah, he hasn't impressed me enough. He hasn't shown enough for me to go for that yet. So we're going to use him a bit more for the rest of the season. But. I'm uh, going to let you guys know what's going to happen. We're going to play all these Premier League games off camera. Like, I tell you, they must be wins. Or they should be wins, considering how we've done in the league. But we lose against Watford. But that will happen over the course. Just because if there's a potential game I could lose, doesn't mean, yeah, I have to show it or something. Uh, because, as I mentioned earlier, um, I've got to... A lot of you guys who watch Football Manager videos are accustomed uh, to seeing a certain style. So, yeah, maybe that's the reason my videos aren't progressing. So, I just need to yeah, do something uh, do something new. But it's not 100% new as to older Football Manager subscribers to my channel. I did this back in FM13. So, uh, we're going to have to roll with that and see how we go. Uh, but I'm going to be on the lookout for assigning a player. So, hopefully, next episode, uh, we would have had some successful results and play against... Uh, playing PSG uh, in the Champions League and hopefully I've made a good signing but in theory we do have a replacement already in Sven Bender who we made that signing earlier he, in the season he he's good <laughs> he's probably one of the best you could probably sign and because he was transfer listed you get him at a um, yeah, decent price, which we did, but we have the money there to bring in just a really good center midfielder in general because we lost one. Uh, we can add depth in that position with a quality signing. So I guess we're going to find out. You are and I am. I've no idea who I'm going to go for. going to have a bit of scouting. Um, yeah, do a bit of scouting and we'll see how we go. But drop a like on the video if you'd like to see more videos like this. They'll be generally shorter and more to the point. And yeah, maybe you guys, you guys will like that, but we'll see how it goes and I'll see you guys next time.